The best way to learn something new is to put it directly to practice. So for this tutorial, I've put together a small node service that's all about cities and weather conditions. Let's make our first request. Just write it down as you would normally do it. If we evaluate it, it is immediately sent to the server. The server responds with a list of temperature infos for every day. And this is just where the fun begins. To work with the data, there are many ways. We can define a type as an overlay that matches our data, or we can do that even in place and deserialize the response. Of course, we can then bind our result to an identifier so that we don't have to call the service each time we want to work with our data. For example, we can get the last sample point, we can get the day with the biggest temperature, or we can even do more complex things like what is the year with the highest temperature difference. And no matter if you're an old-fashioned dot notation guy, if you prefer modern functional pipeline style, or even query comprehensions, that's up to you. Sending data is just as easy. Use triple quoted interpolated strings or directly send anonymous records. Since everything is expression based, you can easily turn things into functions and reuse them over and over again. Now things get even cooler. Never forget that we are in a full fledged programming environment. And now imagine this. There is an endpoint which is secured by a token. Imagine we have a function that generates tokens. We can now use the token, evaluate that in place and send it right to the server. We can of course extract the functionality and reuse it. And also we can build an HTTP template that sends a valid token each time we make a request. So you see, the flexibility and ease of use are incredible. For sure you know that. You develop an application and you deploy to different environments like development, production, staging, testing or whatever. And now an environment is defined with a different base URL and a different security key for authentication. Now what you can do is define an HTTP builder that matches your requirements, pass the environment information and just do requests as you are used to. I tell you, of course you can have it all. You know, you can have monads and monoids and all the operators and whatever kind of obscure stuff you know and love. But the thing is also, functional programming today is just on a peak of practicability so just i tell you stop chasing ghosts and wait for c sharp 47 11 level up your skills and start here right today <laughs>